Another call tonight for the MSU Board of Trustees and interim president John Engler to step down. Students and some faculty rallied this evening on the steps of the administration building on campus. And while Larry Nasser may have been the catalyst, his criminal actions are not the only issues. Mar McDonald has a story from East Lansing. Some of the protesters tonight at the rally had signs. Still others decided to tape up former MSU President Hannah. They are trying to point out that they think this board does not listen to them. Tonight's rally was part performance art, impassioned political speeches from Democrats against John Engler, and anger from Nasser survivors like Kaylee Lawrence. You may ask who has lied. Leanna Simon lied when she said that the university would do a thorough investigation. She lied when she said she had no knowledge of Nasser's treatments, only to later admit that she knew something in 2014. She lied when she said she was sorry for the victims of Larry Nasser because if she were truly sorry, she would not be taking an office in a million dollar historical home and a $700,000 salary. This rally wasn't just about Larry Nasser, though. There are students here who say sexual violence is a plague on this campus and it needs to be far more welcoming of LGBTQ students. We're at the um, moment of like a big like cultural like movement and kind of changing the way that we and, talk about um, sexual Lindsay assault Lundy and really, you know, power structures and institutions that MSU allow this to like take place. And we need to take this opportunity now to change that, to dismantle the system. MSU has an enrollment of 39,000. There were a little more than 100 people who showed up to this rally, including some faculty. All the faculty want the Board of Trustees to go. We all voted for the Board of Trustees to go. Like 84% of us, we voted for them to resign. Back here live, so far, none of the members of the Board of Trustees has resigned. Uh, as far as the only resignation, that is former President Luana K. Simon, who was president of the university when the Nasser scandal started to unfold. And she still, to this day, does retain her pension and substantial benefits. Kimberly, Devin, back to you. All right, Mara.